Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for December 13th, 2021. Well, we had that market pushing on Friday. We complete defiance of um, ugly, ugly inflation. The bulls took that as the battle cry to buy, and the S&P 500 happened to squeak out a new record high on Friday. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can get some information about how we may want to approach the market for today on the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. I hope you all had a fantastic weekend. Hey, I want to say thank you to everyone that visited us at Rightway Options on Friday. That was awesome. We did the drawing on the two uh, reaching 25,000 and congratulations to Lowell, the winner on uh, the drawing. And um, then we gave away a whole bunch of free trials um, for the room. So hopefully um, we'll see some of you back today. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about today as we prepare for a new week of trading. Let's take a look at the diamonds here. You can see diamonds squeaked a little bit higher here on Friday. It's interesting that we were struggling here along this resistance. And it's, it's actually kind of remarkable to me that it required um, a, a big surge in inflation to actually inspire the bulls to push through that area. So um, we pushed through that resistance on Friday and um, we have broken that downtrend to the upside in the Dow. So we are bullish here in this chart. However, I will say that we are quite extended in the short term. Um, this is a very, very steep upside rally. Now that's a recovery rally, so it can certainly be that way. So now the question will be, um, if we pull back, if we um, um, find a reason for bears to move, um, today, um, if we pull back, will that level hold? We don't want to cross up and then break right back down in that chart. So watch that level right there for um, our clues of support. And then keep in mind, we have another resistance level in the chart right up in here that we may push up and um, test today if those bulls can find um, inspiration to continue to push higher. As you can see in the pre-market, we have just a little bit of a, well, a little bit of a pop and drop type pattern coming in. The futures were much more bullish early this morning, pressing um, up, but maybe they're starting to consider all of the central bank decisions coming our way, including our own coming up on Wednesday. So keep an eye on that. We cannot rule out the possibility of a pop and drop um, in this market, even though we are trying to gap up to new record highs in the SPY. Let's take a look at that SPY. SPY popped up here, whoops, come on now. I'm having some trouble there. There we go. SPY popped up here. Squeaked out that new record high. And I mean squeaked it out. They pressed it and pressed it and pressed it all day long trying to push us up. We used high inflation to set a new record. Pretty amazing. But as you look at that, we have broken out in the chart. Now the question is, will it hold? As you can see, pushing through is one thing. Now we need to make sure that that level has the ability to hold up here and actually get some follow through. And remember, we had this rejection high not that long ago over here in the chart. So we'll want to watch that closely. Now the good news is, I think that we consolidated here for just a little bit, rested just enough to provide ourselves just a little bit of support in that chart. So if we were to fail or break back down below this, obviously we could drop right into here and then just continue to consolidate 
um, here in the S&P 500. But if we can find that inspiration here in those bulls, um, that'll be the that'll be the test. Can we actually push out to a new record high print in the market? And we'll want to watch that carefully. Now, keep in mind, if that level of price support does not hold, then we'll start looking for other le levels. But right now, bulls are in control. They have absolutely no concern apparently about inflation, no concern about the jobs numbers, no concern about productivity falling, just push higher. So there we go, S&P 500 moving to the upside. If we take a look at the QQQ, now QQQ has enjoyed those big techs really powering higher here and particularly Apple just soaring um, in the market, but we do have some concerns with that as well. And that is just that we have so few stocks lifting us to the upside right now. It does bring in that question, what happens? What will, what will occur if those big techs actually start taking some profits or begin to see some selling? Now, as you can see, we've got a resistance level up here in the chart and we were gapping up toward that this morning. And we're still seeing a gap up open here in the NASDAQ, even though we've pulled back in the pre-market. But we are looking to gap higher here this morning but it looks like we're just kind of calming down here just a little bit in that pre-market so watch that up here remember this was that rejection high and if we were to uh, fail from here that would constitute a potential lower high off of that level so we'll want to watch that carefully now the bulls are definitely in control and we have some support in this chart a little bit of price support right in here to see if that holds if that were to slip if we were to fail here then we'll look for this area right through here to provide a little bit of support in the chart it's not substantial so if those butt bears were to find some kind of inspiration they could really push hard we could drop down through there pretty quickly but if those bulls defend and continue to fight, then we can see that opportunity where we could hold in here or hold right in this area and continue to push through and see if we can squeak out some new record highs in the NASDAQ heading into, uh, well, hopefully a Santa Claus rally, I guess. And then if we take a look at IWM, our Russell, well, for Pete's sake, my fingers don't want to work this morning, I guess. IWM, as you can see in here, we have this downtrend in this chart. Now, I think we have to actually draw that like that. So that downtrend in the chart, we have a lower high based on that downtrend in this chart, and we're continuing to see some selling, even though we had new records in the Dow, or I mean in the, um, 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 SPY, this is not looking bullish. Um, IWM small caps are not looking good. And it was in the past where IWM would kind of be that leading indicator. Um, I don't know if this is going to lead us or not, but watch that carefully. If some sellers were to come in, IWM may be giving us a little bit of clue there. But we also reacted to some significant levels of price resistance in the chart on this pushback. And so now the question is, will we come back and test these lows or will we find some price support somewhere in between there and try to catch a bounce back higher? So watch that carefully. The Russell, definitely the most bearish of the indexes at the moment. And then one thing we do have to question, what happens in the Russell if we drop through this level of support? Um, you can see that's a fairly sig significant level of support. And if we were to drop through there, there's not a lot of support um, underneath here. So. Um, kind of a precarious position if we fail that level. Let's take a look at the, um, the VIX. Now our VIX pulled back at the end of the day. We saw fear dropping out of the market. And honestly, I find that just a little bit odd, and I'll show you why in just a little bit, that fear was dropping out. But we saw new record highs in the SPY, I guess. So, so so why not not be fearful at all? But we did hold on to this upside trend um, in the chart. We slipped below that 20 handle, which means that we slipped below a little bit of support level in that chart. So that's a good sign for the market. That's a good sign for the bulls seeing that VIX pulling back. But I do have to question here, and I, I am a little bit concerned that 
uh, we may find a little bit of price support in here this week as we wait for those uncertainties of all these central bank meetings coming out. So keep a close eye on that, um, that possibility that we could pop off of this trend. If we don't, if we find more reason to just relax, we could continue to slip on down and maybe we could head down and test some lows. But let's remember, we made a new record high on an elevated VIX. That always puts in a little bit of question what happens next and could we see more volatility uh, moving ahead. So watch that pretty closely. Then let's take a look at our T2122. I do find this to be pretty interesting. Um, T2122 did make a push higher on Friday and we made a new record high in the SPY, but notice where we ended up here in our T2122. We didn't even quite make it back up to the mid range here on T2122. And what that tells us is that we have a very select few stocks that pushed us to new record highs. Um, can we continue that process? I don't know. We have an awful lot of stocks that didn't look, don't look that good. Um, and it's just a few very select stocks moving us up. And we'll look at that in just a second. So what is T2122 telling us? Well, remember T2122 does not tell us which direction the market's going to go. So here we are in kind of the mid range. What it says is if those bulls find inspiration, we certainly have plenty of upside room. Um, if they find that inspiration to push toward that bearish reversal zone. And if the bears happen to find inspiration, they have opened up plenty of opportunity to push down. So watch carefully in there. We have a market right now that really showing us on T2122, anything is possible. So be kind of careful here, um, remembering that we've got um, those Fed meetings um, on the way. Then let's take a look at our T21, and this is what I was talking about. T2108, take a look at this. We set new record highs on Friday. In the S&P 500, I want you to see the number of stocks holding above their 40-day moving average barely budged, barely budged. And notice that as we continue to set new record highs, fewer and fewer stocks are participating in that. So that begs the question, what happens if those big tech giants really start to sell off? What could occur here? Um, so watch that closely. Notice that we were just kind of flat. We held in there about 32% of our stocks holding above their 40 day. Our T2107, on the other hand, um, saw a tiny little decline on Friday as we were setting new record highs. Just a few more stocks pushed back down and fell below their 200 day. So we've only got about 40% of our stocks holding above the 200 day moving average. And if you take a look at that chart, boy, there's not a whole lot about that chart that you can say right now that is bullish, particularly when we failed right here um, in that move. So we've got an interesting situation where a very select few stocks are continuing to set new record highs. And that would say to me, be really careful because if those few start to sell, it could move down hard and fast. So watch that closely. And then let's take a look at our T2101. T2101, interestingly enough, even as we set new record highs, really didn't pull back much at all. That's that market breadth. And that market breadth has suddenly perked up on that selling wave in the market. And we're really not calming down here on T2101 like you would expect that we could drop back into this range down here in this wedge. And as I've said before, we we'll want to watch this closely. If we end up holding up in here on market breadth, that means those bears are a bit more active than they've been before. And if those feisty bears decide to attack, um, we could also see that pushing back up as well. So just kind of keep a close eye on that. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar 
doesn't have a whole lot on it today for us to be concerned about. As you can see right here, um, three month bill auction, a six month bill auction, um, probably nobody going to care. But um, let's notice as we move through the week, we've got PPI, another inflation number coming in here on Tuesday. Um, perhaps we'll ignore that or use that as a reason to buy as well. Then we've got that big retail sales coming out here on Wednesday, and we're going to get a big data dump here on Wednesday, um, including the FOMC. The FOMC right now is giving hints that they may double up on the taper from their original conversation. So kind of keep in mind, the Fed committee is starting to talk a little bit more hawkishly. So we'll want to keep an eye on that. Wednesday could be a pivotal day. And then notice we have a big day on Thursday as well. Housing, claims, Philly Fed, industrial production, PMI. We've got a lot of data coming our way through this midweek period. So watch that closely. Then let's take a peek at our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar pretty light today. We've got 15 companies listed on the calendar but quite a few of those are unconfirmed. Now, um, if you want to catch the list of the uh, notables, just click the link below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog if you want to see that. Now, there are just three that I could come up with today that might be somewhat notable. Uh, J-I-L-L will be reporting today not exactly a market moving stock um, but hey something to look at in that earnings report we have uh, PHX that will be reporting today um, again not exactly a market moving stock down here below three dollars but you know I was kind of scraping the bottle bottom of the barrel looking for something in earnings that might move us around a little bit and um, REPX as the other notable here so just kind of keep in mind not a whole lot going on um, on that um, earnings calendar today along with the economic calendar so now we have to think about and ponder what's going to happen um, on Wednesday with that FOMC and that could that could create some volatility could even get those bears a little bit more active today let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that guys if you could do me a quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time i post one of these videos and if you find these videos to be worthy if you find them to be helpful if you could please click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment and um that continues to help the channel grow and thank you so much for you doing that and and as a matter of fact it's the engagement with the video that makes more difference than anything else and even if you respond to um, or comment on other folks's comments that helps the algorithm to show the video to more folks so thank you everyone uh, for taking the time to do that and once again I just want to thank everyone for pushing the channel above 25,000 subscribers I never thought there would be um, um, that much interest in information like this that didn't include a whole bunch of hype, didn't include a whole bunch of prediction. It was just looking at the charts and trying to gain some information from support, resistance, and trend. And um, hopefully, hopefully um, that continues. So thank you once again, everyone. And also a big shout out to everyone out there who um, attended on uh, Friday in the trading room. Truly, truly appreciate it. We had a great day. We talked a lot about price action and hopefully you got some information um, on that full day um, free look at um, RWL. Let's take a look at a few charts that might be setting up and remember these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security you have to be um, doing your own due diligence making sure that you're planning the risk of these uh, stocks and trades and watching them very very closely because of the volatility of this market right now let's take a look at um, CME now CME um, this was one of the charts that I I um, actually set an alert on during the 
the class on Friday, we were talking with all those folks that were visiting. And I like the way CME is looking here. Notice that we have our longer term trend right here. We're coming into that longer term trend. We pop through resistance, we're pulling back and notice that price action is getting smaller in here, consolidating a little bit. So I set a price alert right in here and that may change or move just a little bit, but I'm watching carefully to see if CME can perk up and continue its upside trend here. So keep a close eye on that. CME is starting to look pretty good. Um, take a look at this STX. Now STX has struggled along here and I had a price alert on this chart popped right in here and um, I su I've suggested to just be a little bit careful we may have to pull back to this trend and we have done that we're holding this support area in the chart so let's keep an eye on that see if that can hold and if we can find that bullish reason to start pushing on through to the upside so watch that closely as you guys know I've been starting to talk about a little bit of of bearish um, uh, charts in the market. Take a look at that IWM. If you guys remember a few days ago, I was suggesting um, on this up move, if you wanted to hedge yourself in the market a little bit, potentially taking a short here in the IWM might be the way to go. I suggested this bear call credit spread to um, members of RWO and some of those are profiting, some of those folks are profiting from this right now as IWM pushes back. So watch that closely. Um, IWM could be one of those charts that gives us the, that little bit of bearish opportunity in the market. Take a look at AMD. AMD, I think, is also setting up short. Notice that we've kind of broken support here. We rallied back to that price resistance and we're showing failure. A little bit of rest and consolidation here. The last couple of days of trading sets up this little wedging pattern and that possibility that we could slip and uh, drop on lower here. So keep an eye on that AMD chart, looking a little bit on that bearish side. If um, those bears come into play, possibility we could push on lower. Take a look at um, FedEx. FedEx, a nice little consolidating pattern here after we broke support. Now we've recovered it and we're holding that support level in the chart. So keep an eye on this. I think this may have that opportunity. Notice we have a little price resistance level right through here, but we're holding this nice support. And as we consolidate in here, let's watch and see if we can push on through to the upside. Now keep in mind, retail sales numbers can sometimes affect the shippers if we see retail sales coming in um, less than expected. We know those shippers may not do quite as well. But right now, um, that's looking pretty darn bullish, so keep an eye on FedEx. You might also want to keep an eye on Ford. By golly, Ford made that nice move on Friday, pushing through. I've been talking about this one for a while. Now, pushing through, um, that's awesome. I don't think I would want to chase that just right here. But any little rest and pullback should set up an opportunity. It is, as you guys know, Ford. Uh, moving uh, moving quickly um, to the EV side of things, um, the Ford pickup just selling like crazy. The electric Ford pickup selling like crazy um, in pre-order. So keep an eye on that as this wrestler pulls back. Might be pretty interesting. And also remember, they have a major share in Rivian. Um, Ford bought up a major share in Rivian, and Rivian just received um, Auto Trends Truck of the Year. So pretty interesting um, situation here that they're moving into the truck pickup, electric vehicle pickup business here in Ford, but they bought up another company that looks like could have some pretty good opportunity as well. So watch that closely. Ford hanging in there looking pretty good. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate it. You guys honestly humble me every day with your kind comments and um, it means the world to me. So thank you so much. Everyone take care. Have an awesome, awesome day. We'll see you right back here, bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a great one. Everyone.